What's up guys, Lou here, back with another video. Today I got a weird one, and I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest. Inside here is something called Pavlock. It's a piece of tech, this is what I know, like what I know is actually pretty vague. It's a piece of tech that helps you break bad habits. Got a lot of those! The case study on their site is about someone quitting smoking, but there's also another guy, I think it's the founder of the company, who, he used this tech to quit eating tortilla chips. What does it do? It sends a shock to your body every time you do the bad habit. Like, a real shock. You wear it on your wrist. <clears throat> we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Aristotle. Charge a Pavlok, place it on your wrist. Wear it throughout the day. Pressing firmly on the lightning bolt will release Pavlok stimulus. Pair the stimulus with your bad habit or craving. So in the case of the tortilla chips, you shock yourself enough times every time you eat one and you start to think of the shock when you see tortilla chips and you don't even want to let them in your life anymore. That's the idea here, all right. Reduce cravings, pizza, ice cream. Love pizza. Donuts, you see the donut, you want the donut. Zap. Because you got to press the button. You got to do the shocks. You got to be honest with yourself still. Here's the bracelet. Lightning bolt on the front. It's kind of like a watch. This, I guess, is the unit. Oh, man. I can feel the pain already. It's like a metal brick and a little micro USB cable. I guess charges this guy up here. <laughs> I mean, how much of a shock can it be? They're selling it to you. Oh, man. It's not going to be fun. So let's say, okay, all right, I'm, I'm doing the habit, I'm smoking the cigarette, or I'm, I'm eating the chip, or I'm uh, ice cream, donuts, I'm not waking up on time, I'm a, I'm a nightmare, I'm a disaster of a human being. And then I just press this, when I get that, whew, should I do it? Go press down, what? Nothing. It must need, a, need to be charged, right? Look at those creepy red lights, hey? That's creepy. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for the app real quick while it's charging. Pavlock. Essentially what you're doing is you are kind of hacking your mind in a sense, but you are, let's not get it twisted. You're wearing the human equivalent of a dog shock collar. Beep, vibrate, zap. You can adjust the power of these things here. Let's see if I get something positive or negative out of this. There's just something about getting shocked, you know? No fun. What do I do, to tap it? Ah! Tap to connect, pair. Okay, so so what, can I do a zap real quick? Ugh. Oh! Damn! It's not a good feeling. Why am I being such a wimp? Here we go again. Ah! That would train me. I'm feeling trained already, I don't even wanna Man, that is crazy. That's, uh, 50%. That's 50%. Oh! 100%? What about my ticker? Oh. I'll, let me go up slowly. I'll go to 70, and then I'll go to 100. <laughs> oh! It's not a little buzz. It's a... Hmm! Let's go to 100. That shock is no joke. The problem is you still need some self-control. You need to be in charge enough to say, when you get the craving, hit the button. What is this tapping thing? Press firmly on the lightning bolt. Bam! But I could see like if you truly wanted to get committed to attach your craving to that shock and you got the willpower to do it, you might be able to rewire yourself. Give the remote to your spouse. Connect it on Bluetooth around the house. You pick up that cigarette. Poof. Whoa! 